Eleven years ago, we decided to get married and open a business within a few months of each other. It's kind of crazy, but that was uh, what we did. Back in 1978, my then wife-to-be and my dad said, get a real job. You don't belong in the music. You can't make money at it. So I spent 30-plus years in the insurance business and hated every minute of it. And then when Nan and I got together, I was sitting at the piano late one night and felt a tap on the back of my head. And a voice said, go back into music <laughs> where you belong. So I did. And it's just been one blessing after another ever since then for the past 11 years. So we're bringing that to a close today. Today's it. And uh, we're going to be moving north and starting the next chapter of our lives and seeing what that holds for us. So. Straight up, it was the governor's order. You can't run a retail store without customers. People were getting scared and lessons were dropping off like flies because they didn't want their kids exposed to the virus, which I thought was very justified. The day after Lauren did her story, they were literally out front here with the street eater, tearing the street up. I honestly think the Lord says, watch this and we'll see what I'm gonna do for you today. <laughs> We did over $4,000 in our door that day. We've never had a door like that in the history of the store. We're gonna be okay. And I want everybody to know we're gonna be okay.